it is known that Ukraine has several air defense systems, such as the old Soviet S-300, Buck system and other weapons. With such assistance, Ukraine was able to shoot down more than half of all Russian missiles. This is already a great achievement. But that's not enough. Sometimes a single Russian missile can cause tremendous destruction, as has happened more than once. NASAMS is not the newest anti-aircraft weapon, but one of the most effective in the world. This is evidenced by the fact that it is this anti-aircraft complex that protects the White House and the Office of the President of the United States. The United States has a similar Patriot system, but Norway's NASAMS is considered more reliable. What is NASAMS? The Advanced Norwegian Anti-Aircraft Missile System NASAMS is the world's first operational networked ground-based short and medium-range air defense system. The Kongsberg Raytheon NASAMS air defense system has a network-centric architecture that can carry out several simultaneous combat operations. Its beyond visual range BVR, capabilities, as well as high uniformity, allow for integration with other equipment and air defense systems. The NASAMS network extends the protection zone and increases the overall combat capability of the armed forces. The anti-aircraft missile system, NASAMS, combines Norwegian launchers and control systems with the American AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missile, AMRAM. It is capable of hitting 72 targets simultaneously. NASAMS is not an accidental abbreviation, it stands for Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. Its development was started in the 1990s when the Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace joined forces with the American company Raytheon to create a medium-range anti-aircraft system for the Royal Norwegian Air Force. NASAMS is a medium- and long-range air defense missile system developed and manufactured by the Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace in cooperation with Raytheon of the United States. Following the implementation in Norway in 2015, four more NATO and EU countries acquired NASAMS. The NASAMS air defense system uses Raytheon AMRAM missiles, but can also operate with other short and medium range missiles, such as the 70 Lira, RBS 70, and Hawk missiles. The manufacturer also confirmed integration with directed energy weapons, DO, and long range systems such as the Patriot. NASAMS is designed to identify, engage, and destroy aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, as well as protect valuable assets and population centers from aerial threats and artillery and MLRS strikes. For the first time, NASAMS appeared in the service of the Air Defense Forces of Norway, later they were exported to Spain, the USA, the Netherlands, and Finland. On March 13, 2019, the U.S. State Department made a decision to approve the possible foreign sale to Australia of the AIM-120 C-7 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missiles AMRAM, system and related equipment at an estimated cost of $240.5 million. In June 2019, it was announced that India has shown interest in acquiring the NASAMS-2 anti-aircraft missile system. On February 10, 2020, the U.S. State Department approved the possible sale of an integrated air defense system, IADWS, to India, which includes NASAMS II, at an estimated cost of $1.867 billion. In November 2020, Hungary confirmed the purchase of NASAMS for $1 billion. Ukraine will now join them. Modifications of NASAMS in the 2000s an improved version, NASAMS II, was developed and entered service in 2006, followed by NASAMS III in 2010, which entered service in 2019. Regardless of the variant, NASAMS is a networked medium and long-range surface-to-air missile defense system. It is a combat control system, communication systems and radars, the entire network of sensors and radars is built on different platforms for greater efficiency. But the most important differences concern the use of different types of missiles and launchers. Initially, these were two missiles AIM-120 AMRAM with a range of up to 25 km horizontally and 40 km in the extended range version, but in the NASAMS-3 version with upgraded launchers, cheaper shorter range missiles appeared, for example, the AIM-9X Sidewinder Block II and Iris-T range is up to several kilometers. NASAMS does not protect against all threats, although they can handle drones, airplanes, helicopters or even supersonic cruise missiles. 
but it is not effective enough against ballistic missiles, such as Iskander's, because it cannot be intercepted in the early stages of the missile's flight, but only at the last stage, that is, immediately before impact. In addition, it is insanely expensive to maintain, with AIM-120 missiles costing between $180,000 and $300,000. But, fortunately, the mentioned missiles are quite common in the warehouses of the USA and NATO countries, even Poland, so their transfer to Ukraine will not be a particular problem. Launch Scheme NASAMS is equipped with three launchers, each of which carries up to six ready-to-fire rockets in transport and launch containers. The purpose of the NASAMS multi-missile launcher is to transport, guide and launch missiles with various characteristics. All of them are mounted on the same launch rail inside protective containers. Each NASAMS launcher carries up to six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles and is connected to the FDC Fire Distribution Center via a radio channel and or field wire. The mobile launcher can be deployed and remotely controlled at a distance of up to 25 kilometers from the control center. The launcher can fire six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles in a matter of seconds at six different targets, providing multiple simultaneous engagements of combat targets. Up to 12 launchers with 72 missiles can be installed, and all missiles will be ready to fire almost instantly. In the firing position, the platform with the launcher is lowered to the ground, and four hydraulic jacks can be deployed to stabilize the launcher during firing. In a configuration of 12 launchers with 72 loaded missiles, all missiles can be fired at individual targets in less than 15 seconds. Missile Details the AIM-120 high-speed missile is produced in several variants. The AIM-120B received the ability to be reprogrammed directly in the transport container, and the AIM-120C received an improved inertial guidance system, has an increased range and very high maneuverability to counter targets that carry out evasive maneuvers. The latest field version, the AIM-120C7, includes an updated antenna, receiver, and new software algorithms to counter new threats. The use of compact electronics made it possible to reduce the length of the instrument compartment and use the freed space for additional fuel. This made it possible to increase the firing range. This version of the missile is used by the Norwegian Army, so there is a chance that it will come to Ukraine. The multiple missile launchers can also fire the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile and the RIM-162 ESSM. This missile is capable of hitting targets of a range of up to 40 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 14 kilometers. Radar and Command Post The standard NASAMS Air Defense Unit has a modular design that includes a command post called the Fire Distribution Center, an active 3D and MPQ-64F1 Sentinel radar, a passive electro-optical and infrared sensor, and a number of launchers for missile containers with AMRAAM missiles. Typically four NASAMS units are networked into a battery. The Fire Distribution Center is a proven BMC-4I, Battle Management Command, Control, Communications, Computers and Intelligence, Air Defense Module, that provides advanced equipment for current and future air defense missions. The NASAMS Air Defense System was equipped with an MPQ-64F1 radar. It is a 3D phased array antenna system operating in X-band for automatic detection, tracking, identification, classification and notification of airborne threats. Each of the radars is capable of replacing the others. The fire control center can receive targeting instructions from the headquarters and issue data to individual launchers. All missiles can be fired at different targets within 12 seconds.